blue light glasses on. Let's go. All right, what is going on guys? It's Disaster Hero. I'm back with another video and it has been quite some time since I've said that. It's been around six months. I haven't been on YouTube for around six months now. I'm not gonna get too much into why I've been gone for so long, but as you guys can tell by the title, around a month ago, I actually took the Camaro to go get a dyno and as you guys know, it is a stock Camaro right now. Uh, Performance-wise, it's stock, but aesthetically, you know, it's kinda changed up a little bit and especially now, it's been changed up a lot. It's not gonna be shown in this video, but over the last month or so, I've done a lot of stuff to the Camaro and those videos will be coming out here in the next couple of weeks. But like I said, we did go get the Camaro dyno and it put up some pretty insane numbers for stock. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you guys the dyno clips and we'll talk about the numbers afterwards. See you guys soon. Hi, hey there. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Okay. Um, I'm just here to get my car dynoed. Right. Do they call that canary yellow on that one or no? No, it's bright yellow. Yeah, because the canary is a little bit duller, but I didn't know if they do it in the newer cars. No, I don't think so. It's called bright yellow. Yeah. So what mods are done to this right now? Um, the car is powered? Power, nothing. Absolutely okay. nothing. Yeah, it's, it's completely stock. bone stock, yeah. Even air filters, stock, Not, everything? Everything's stock. Cool. Yeah, I'm only getting the stock done right now because I do want to know what the no, the stock numbers are. Yeah, it's always good to do it. Strap down, ready to go. Four twenty one. Wow, that was a lot higher than I was expecting, honestly. And we're back. 
So as you guys saw there, we actually did quite a few runs with the Camaro on the dyno, and they all averaged around the same amount, and the highest run that we got was 421, as you guys heard at the very end there, and that's 421 at the wheels. So for people that don't really know how dynoing and everything works out when you go to shops and everything and get it done like that, basically the manufacturer, let's say Chevrolet in this case, they say the Camaro makes 455 horsepower, and that's supposed to be at the crank at the engine, but the thing is they actually use engine dynos to measure that. And the thing with shops is that when you go over there, they're obviously measure the horsepower through the wheels with a drivetrain connected, because imagine going through every single car that you have that day and you got to pull up the engine and then measure the horsepower and put the engine back in. That would take absolutely forever. So obviously you do it with the drivetrain connected through the wheels and through the drivetrain you're actually supposed to lose around 15 to 20 percent of your crank horsepower to your wheel horsepower. So we were expecting maximum maybe 380, 390, maybe 400 at best and this thing put up 421 which is pretty damn insane because Chevrolet says this comes with 455 horsepower. So that's actually a lot of horsepower that we get ended up keeping so we can turn this into an absolute beast and hopefully the camera picks this up it says right down there 421 horsepower from the car and the torque and everything like that but that's actually a really really good number for us guys we can turn this thing into a pretty quick car i don't think i'm ever going to take it to the drag strip actually we might go there a couple times but the thing is i'm not really going to use that car for drag racing or anything i'm not really too into racing like that but uh we do love fast cars here. But other than that guys, that's pretty much it for the dyno. But other than that, you guys can see the side skirts over there right in the corner and you guys can all see the headers right here, the quick long tube headers. Those are gonna be pretty fun to put on and see how much performance that we get from those. Um, the diffuser is just getting built right now. It has a 15 week build time. It's been like nine weeks now. I don't even know it was that long, but we gotta wait for that and the exhaust. The exhaust got delayed another month. They said it was going to come here in the early June, but then I asked them because it never ended up shipping. So it's actually coming here mid-July. So I'm not sure when you guys are going to be seeing this video, but hopefully in the next few weeks here, we will be getting that on the channel. And we do have a bunch of plans for that as well. Pretty fun stuff. But other than that, the Camaro has a completely different look, guys. I'm not going to show it to you too much in this video. Actually, I think I'll give you guys a little sneak peek right here. So here, enjoy it. Okay, well that's enough of that. I'm just kidding guys. I'll put a little sneak peek at the very end of this video. Not too much, not any of the clips that we're gonna be using for the next video. The next video is gonna be pretty exciting. And we got a lot of other stuff that's on the car as well, which you guys will be seeing here in the next few videos. Intake louvers, uh, some tire stickers, some emblems, all this different stuff. And yeah, I'm pretty excited because we got a lot of different stuff coming up this summer. But guys, this video is coming to an end. The next video is going to be very, very special because we do have a special reveal in there as well because of the new stripes. Car looks absolutely insane. So I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.